Now let's talk about just something you brought up again uh, regarding land. So based on your research, uh, and from what I understand, a lot of the land is government owned, right? Government controlled, and people are surprised how much land is actually available to them to purchase and build, if that makes sense. And it's kind of, it takes, you know, like you mentioned, the bigger developers, Lennar, DR Horton, all of them, they do joint ventures all the time with the government, right? That are old, maybe military-based and, and zoned land around there to essentially build. Maybe they put that under a ground lease for X amount of years and, and they go ahead and build communities out that way. What have you seen beyond that? I mean, is it just mostly government controlled and you have to kind of work with the local municipalities to see if they're released? Is there any inventory out there even for just, you know, residential builders, right? Yeah, I mean, if you look at kind of if you look at a city planning uh, map, you can kind of see where you know they, where they want people to, to be. And if you look at LA or San Francisco or Seattle or Portland, there's kind of like downtown areas. There's not a lot of land, right? If no. you look at the city of Tacoma where I am, and you just pull up lots for sale, there's like a lot for sale, but it's right next to a railroad track. <laughs> and so one of the things that we've tried to to do actually is just completely invert it, and we're saying yeah. like. Let's go into these secondary markets where they have been plats developed, but they weren't developed. And with Zoom and, and all of the changes with COVID and yeah. people can live further from the city yeah. and live on more land, let's go in and purchase those properties, rapidly sort of get them pad ready. And then it's truly like pick your lot on infilled, pick your home on custom home AI and pick your team on BIMQUO. And so, yeah, I think going going to purchase these big lots that DR Horton and Lennar have to do uh, there's really you're not going to compete with those guys of course that game and then the infield stuff is it is really difficult I mean you're two years three years into those projects before you're really doing something in in a downtown area and it's tough for people to if they're having to finance that money or doing it through a limited partnership, you're really asking for a lot of patience to go and do that. And so we're going out actually outside of the cities, like right on the border of the cities where, you know, there's, there's a lot of things you can do with your property pretty quickly and ramping these up. You know, I mean, some of these lots we've purchased, we sort of have the site plan done, uh, drainage report done, septic design done before it's even out of feasibility in a 30 day time frame. So it just tells you, you know, everything we can't automate through our, through our tools, we've just organized in a hyper-focused way for a very specific purpose.